Hello and welcome to Cyprus. In this video, we are going to be exploring the very best locations that you can find around Cape Greco, one of the most beautiful parts of Cyprus. We've got stunning coastlines, viewpoints, beaches, caves and more coming up. And we also have a very special guest that you might recognize from my videos back in the UK. Oh, oh. <laughs> so let's begin with none other than one of the most famous locations in all Cyprus. So yes, what you can see behind me are the sea caves. They've been formed by the waves crashing against these rocks and slowly eroding these passageways over the years. And what is amazing about this place is that we can actually climb down and explore some of these caves and go for an amazing swim in this beautifully blue water. So. That's what we're going to do. So this iconic viewpoint that we are at here is, I'd say, pretty much the most famous spot in these sea caves. We can see everything that we are about to explore if we can find a way down. Which way are you trying to do? You're going to try to go in. <laughs> so these caves have been formed due to the waves crashing against these rocks and over the centuries slowly eroding them away and forming these caves. The largest of these caves actually goes back 900 meters into the rock. It's cold at first. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is um, April at the time of this, so, you know. So now we are heading to our next location, which is actually within walking distance from the sea caves. So that's what we're doing. The sea caves are just behind us there. And we are heading to the iconic hill of uh, Cape Greco. And we will get an incredible view from the top. If you get hungry, and you have some food with you, but it's really bland. You can have salt from the floor. <laughs> is, is that a joke? Yes, because there is salt on the floor. Salt. It's a great joke. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna. Enjoy the walk. Oh yeah, yes, beautiful. Wish it was like this in England. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are at the halfway point of the hike. You can see the peninsula at the tip of Cape Greco. So the best view over Cape Greco that you can get is from the top, just up there. But we were thinking the golden hour, just before sunset, will be the perfect time to see this gorgeous view. So uh, skip six hours later, and we're gonna be up there. So over there you can see the sea caves where we came from and beyond that is the resort of Ayanapa itself. So we're not actually going to head all the way into Ayanapa itself in this video because then this video would be insanely long. But uh, we are going to do that in another video so I will link that up here and at the end of this video. And so that summarizes our first day. So we woke up early the next morning and continued around to the other lesser known side of Cape Greco. So for our next stop of the video, we have walked even further along this incredible but difficult path. I must say that some of the terrain here can be a bit difficult to walk over, but if you thought the water over in the sea caves was blue, we haven't seen nothing yet because this is the Blue Lagoon. So we're going to walk a little bit further up the coastlines now. And uh, there's a few stops very close to here that we're going to go check out. So let's go. So here we are at this uh, beautiful and unique stone arch. So now we're just walking along the footpath along this beautiful coastline to our next stop. And this is actually one of the very few buildings that are uh, in this National Forest Park. <laughs> there you go. 
So this is uh, an absolutely beautiful point in itself with this church here, but it actually holds a secret because hidden underneath this church is a cave. So let's go venture down, try and find it. Probably if you come here really early in the morning, it's... Are you okay? You need a hand? I'll do it, I'll do it. You're... <laughs> good, good. It's a big cave. It is a big cave, yeah. Nice one. <laughs> so here we are now in one of our final stops of the video. This is Konos Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches we have found so far in Cyprus. It's so shallow, the water here. Oh, an amazing thing as well, if we walk up into those hills, uh, there's actually some hidden caves and we're very excited to try and find them. Okay, so now we are just walking along the final part of the Cape Greco uh, nature trail. You can actually see way off in the distance over there, the church that we just were with uh, the other cave. And we're going to finish this video off with a cave. <laughs> this one is the slightly lesser known Cyclops cave. Let's try and find it. Big lizard. He's off. Where's he going to go? Oh, yeah. Go on then. After you. Yes, I would definitely suggest that you uh, do consider walking parts of this trail. Everything is so compact, and when you walk, you just you see some things that you really miss. The driving, all these little things in between. Although with that said, if you would like to drive, every single one of these places has a parking space right next to it. So you can drive right up to these places if you do like. So there you go. Um, this is where I'm gonna finish the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some great ideas of things to do uh, in this area because it really is a beautiful part of Cyprus, right Ellie? Yes, I like it. I like it here. It's nice. What does everybody do? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe and swim and I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.